So I've picked up some what I think are really good secondhand slash vintage pieces recently and I just wanted to share them because some of them I find very exciting. All of them I find very exciting. It's kind of a bit of a mixed bag of stuff. So I guess I'll start with the obvious one which is behind me and it's this this mirror here obviously you can see. This was actually my stepmum's. she was gonna sell it but I saw it and kind of hinted that I really liked it and so she ended up really kindly giving it to me which I didn't try and dissuade her from selling it um, but I'm really glad <laughs> that she ended up not selling it I absolutely love it so it kind of does need a new lick of paint I'm gonna move to this side slightly so maybe you can see better it has like a gold framing but the gold is like chipped in places so I think it probably could do with a little bit of extra paint but I just really love this fruit border like it really reminds me of the sort of thing that you'd find hanging in a gallery not as like an art piece in and of itself but just something that complements the artwork if you know what I mean like I wish I knew my art history because it definitely reminds me of certain paintings but I don't know enough about art or different art styles to like actually pinpoint what it is but I just really love it it's really decadent and it doesn't really go with anything that I own but I I'm really besotted with it anyway, like I think it's just really nice and unique. So thank you to my stepmom Mary for not selling it and, and very kindly giving it to me. Now on to the things that I spent my own money on. There's not a huge amount, but as I say, I'm pretty happy with the things that I've got. I'll start with the earrings that I'm wearing. I don't know how well you'll be able to see. I'll take them out and see if the camera will focus on them um, if I hold them closer. I'm just jumping in after the fact uh, because the earrings did not pick up when I tried to hold them closer to the camera so I thought I would just show you them on me now uh, on my phone so this is what they look like please ignore the spot that I have growing here when we get even closer well now at least you're well acquainted with my face okay um, back to when I actually cared about what I looked like they're just sterling silver earrings with amber in them, real amber, real sterling silver, and these were only £10, and I just really like them because they have quite a unique design, like this here. It's certainly not Celtic, but it has kind of like something a little bit Celtic about it. They're just, I don't know, a little bit fancier than just a normal stud or like normal drop earring and I, as I say I just really like that design I think it's really nice and for £10 uh, I thought yep yeah, I'll take that and now on to the good stuff I picked up this handbag for £6 which is like insanely cheap this is unused as far as I can tell like it genuinely looks brand new I don't know how old it is I doubt it's like actually from the 50s but it definitely is kind of like a 50s inspired silhouette but it is genuinely in pristine condition like the inside I mean it hasn't been used so outside is like this tan leather and then inside it's lined with suede like actual suede I can smell that it's really suede it is most definitely like a granny purse it's the sort of thing that like the queen would carry but I really I love um, this sort of style of bag I've also been looking for I don't know what this what this actual style is called but I've been looking for like a, a handbag like this for a really long time I would say it's my new favorite bag but I also have two other vintage bags which I'm also beyond besotted by so I was recently with my mum and she took me to an antique warehouse type place I say antique it was I mean it sold stuff that weren't even antiques like it had the um I can't even remember what his name is Oleg the meerkat is he the one the compare the market adverts they had stuffed toys of him not antique not even vintage so like I'm saying an antique place quite liberally um anyway she took me there and anybody who's ever shopped in like an antique center before in the UK will know how ridiculously priced some stuff is so I didn't really expect to find anything there we kind of just went to have a wonder and see what was about but I saw this bag lying on a table again it kind of works like a vintage fair obviously like different containers will have different sellers so 
all things there are like priced differently but I saw this bag um, which is this beaded bag in kind of like a leopard print I want to say it's like lined with like a sort of greeny blue satin it's really really pretty obviously it looks lopsided but I think you're supposed to do it like that put one the bigger handle through the small one so you can hold it just as like a bit of a grab bag um, and it was £10 and I thought that's nice but do I really need it? So I kind of like put it down, I left it there and I had a wonder, I had a look around, they had a lot of other beaded bags, some much nicer than this but way more expensive, like they had this really beautiful turquoise beaded bag, it was in a cabinet, when things are in a cabinet that's when you know they're gonna get pricey and it was like, it had like a really intricate design on it, it was teeny tiny but it was an, it was an absolutely stunning bag for £110, £100 more than this one? definitely nicer um but 110 pound you'd be terrified to use it because you'd think all the beads were gonna fall off and there was another one in a different cabinet which was like this cream bag again with like quite an intricate design i get why they were priced more than 10 pound um but that one was 55 and so i had sort of seen all of these other beaded bags and they had some others that weren't as nice which were around the same price as this and so i ended up going back and obviously I picked it up uh, but when I went back for it as I say it was just sort of like lying flat on a table I picked it up and I you know had another look and another think about it and kind of like as I picked it up I saw that just above it like just above the table on like a box thing there was another beaded bag which immediately took my attention so clearly I bought this one as well but the other beaded bag is like so much more beautiful and is most definitely much older than this one um so just lying quite inconspicuously on top of this box on top of this table uh was this this beauty it's tiny it is like most definitely not the most practical bag you could ever own I, i'm not even entirely sure my phone would fully fit in this and so i am obviously immediately gravitated towards it this by the way it looks identical to the one that I said was £55 in the cabinet although arguably kind of like a little bit more intricate so it has like this clutch and it just opens like that and inside again it's a satin fabric and it has its own little pocket and its own little mirror okay um sold already the top has lost some beading um, like I'm assuming that this was supposed to be more intricate and like I can see some of the beads are loose so the top of it isn't in pristine condition but oh, I can hear a bead just fell off in fact um, but the rest of the bag is literally perfect like it hasn't it really clearly again hasn't been used it also has like the most impractical handle I mean like it's it's not it's not exactly um, great in terms of like how you carry it. It will definitely have to be used as a clutch unless I like attach a new chain where this chain is. Uh, but so yeah, basically this is what it looks like. It's absolutely stunning. And the moment I saw that the mirror was inside, like I was completely sold. And I thought, there's no way I'm going to be able to afford it. I'm only going to be coming away with this one, which I do really like, but like in comparison. Um, but then I looked at the price tag this was £12. Seriously, these type of beaded bags sell for much more. Again, saw one almost identical, although maybe it was like higher price because it didn't have all the issues on top, but that, that was £55. Genuinely the exact same. £12 is ridiculously cheap. Like if you go on Etsy, you will really struggle to find one that's £12. 20 maybe, but £12. So I didn't intend to spend any money that day, I didn't even go in looking for a beaded bag, but I ended up with two. I think this is my new thing, I think now I'm collecting beaded bags, I don't know what's going on. So yeah, those are some um, really not necessary additions to my bag collection, but I'm very happy to have them and this mirror and obviously these earrings. Thank you very much for watching, hopefully I'll see you very soon. Bye!